Meteorologist Scott Dorvell with the Idaho News 6 forecast. A lot of sunshine around the Treasure Valley today, but a little on the nippy side. Temperatures staying a little bit chilly. And over the next couple of days, another surge of mild air will come in ahead of our storm system that will arrive tomorrow afternoon. And so we're going to see our temperatures go up, and that means rain coming in with the next event for the Treasure Valley. Snow levels will be going up as well, but we'll have a decent amount of snow at 5,000 feet in Long Valley. And then the snow levels will go up even higher, they get some rain, and then it will come back down as it turns back over to snow. Let's look at a view from the Grove Hotel camera. The sun's not down just yet. And uh, there you see the uh, sky mostly clear. Clouds on the horizon, mostly high clouds, and those will be increasing overnight tonight. We'll generally have mostly cloudy skies tomorrow. We're at 40 degrees right now. It's about where we've been for the day for the high temperature. So pretty decent afternoon. The wind has been well, it's been a bit of a chilly breeze out there. Just the littlest breeze can cause a, a good cold wind chill factor, and that was the case earlier today. 41 for the high temperature, 26 in McCall, 28 degrees in the Haley area. We've got winter weather advisories posted, not for the Boise Mountains, but the higher elevation. So in the West Central Mountains and then the Stanley Sun Valley area, the Wood River Valley, and there you see three to six inches of snow, generally less than 5,000 feet. We're talking less than, say, five inches of snow, and up to a foot of snow as you get up to above 6,000 feet and higher. So the ski areas, I'm thinking uh, 10 inches of snow is a pretty good bet for Tamarack and Brundage. Bogus may get that much. A tough call uh, because of being further south, they'll get snow and then they'll get some rain that it'll go back to snow pretty quickly. Uh, Wood River Valley will get some snow out of this as well. Several inches are likely. There you see the high clouds to the west, mostly clear that white, the cloud cover, the green is the rain that is tracking in our direction. And look at the uh, enhanced satellite picture showing another plume of moisture linking up with the jet stream and that's going to blast right into western Idaho and it will affect the Treasure Valley from tomorrow afternoon through Wednesday at noon, off and on rain, periods of rain in there, so a decent amount. And for the mountains, that means a prolonged period of snow, the snow levels will rise, and then they'll come crashing back down again, and then the precipitation will come to an end. So we sum it up in our future cast here, snow in the McCall area as early as 9 o'clock in the morning. You see it pushing on in and increasing during the day. Here comes the rain for the Treasure Valley later in the afternoon. Uh, this time in the afternoon, we're likely to see uh, rain falling tomorrow and again it will just be darkening as we go through the day then a break and then more rain as we go overnight into wednesday morning you see rain over the treasure valley more snow as cold air is starting to come on in but look at it clear that clearing will probably push into the boise area as early as one o'clock in the afternoon on wednesday we're probably going to have a little bit of a breeze, but I still think it will be fairly mild Wednesday afternoon and then a pretty decent day on Thursday. Snow levels will, again, be rising, but uh, you see there uh, seven to nine inches of snow between Brundage and Tamarack is probably a good bet. Maybe a little bit more than that, I'm thinking, uh, for those mountains. Bogus Basin will probably get more than that one inch as well, although there will be some rain mixed in. And speaking of rain, this is what we get in the Treasure Valley. This is what is expected from the computers. So I'll keep you updated, but a quarter to a third of an inch is a pretty good bet for the Treasure Valley. Look at the cloud cover over McCall, and then it was gone just like that. We had some sunshine in the afternoon, beautiful tide-lapse view there. What's in store for McCall? We get three to six, in three or four inches of snow likely in McCall, maybe a little more, and then it could turn over to rain, morning rain on Wednesday, in fact, overnight into the morning, and then turns back to snow as the temperatures come plunging down another one or two inches possible on Friday. There is the colder than normal outlook. I'm thinking the 20th all the way to the 30th of January, that last 10 days, we could finally see some of the coldest weather of the season coming in. I'll keep a close eye out there for you on that. In the meantime, quick check at that extended forecast for the Treasure Valley. Rain is likely tomorrow afternoon, and then on Wednesday, showers in the morning will dry out later in the day. Sunshine, a pretty decent day Thursday, and then I think on Friday, we have a chance for some rain and snow showers turning to rain showers, but a dry weekend ahead with temperatures in the 40s. So we're still seeing milder than normal temperatures. The question is, Don, How is long? it going to get much colder? Mm -hmm. And I am seeing that on about the 20th to the 30th. We might be seeing high temperatures running in the 20s. That's Ooh. something new. That is something new. All right. Thanks, Scott.